This is an overview of the Instagram Grid Widget by Limited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the Instagram Grid Widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it shows Instagram images from your Instagram account that you have connected from the API in our general settings. Each item over here has an overlay and we can also edit the overlay styling. You can turn on or off the icon and change the text over here. Once you click on an image in the front end, it will link to your Instagram item image. Let's go over the settings and I'll show you how you can customize this to your website needs. So the first setting over here is for the number of items in the column. So as you can see now, there are three items in each row, so we can change this into two, for example, and now there are just two items. Down here, we can change the text, so you can change the text over here to whatever you want, and you can also turn off the text if you want. You can change the icon, so let's just say I want to change this into a, a let's say, a magnifying glass, maybe search sort of icon over here. And then when you click on it, it will open the link inside of Instagram. Let's change this back to three so it won't be so wide. And over here, we can turn on or off the text and the icon. So let's just see. Let's turn off the, the icon. And there you go. Let's turn it back on and jump into the style tab. In the style tab, we can determine if there should be a gap or there shouldn't be a gap. So we can make our gap bigger and we can take off the gap overall, which also looks awesome. In some cases, I'm going to leave it on a little bit. Let's say 20 pixels. Grid padding. We can add some padding around the whole grid. And we can change the background color of the whole grid and the radius. Don't see a reason to do that right now. So let's jump into item. Inside of item, we have an option to add some radius to our item. So they're kind of rounded. That looks cool. We can turn on the border for the items. And we, let's jump into overlay and see what options we have over here. So first of all, it's overlay background. So let's say this was a different color. You can see how that looks. And we can turn on the opacity. So there's also always sort of an overlay. And then what you can do is say that when you're hovering over them, you want to turn off the overlay. So that's overlay opacity hover. And now you can see that when you're hovering over them, the overlay is gone. Usually it's the other way around. So you, you want to turn on the overlay once you're hovering over them and have a really, really subtle overlay. Let's change that back to black or even let's say white, for example. So that looks cool. Overlay text color is for the icon and the wording over here. So let's turn that to black, let's say. Awesome. And let's see what else we have over here. So this is typography. We can make our font bigger inside of the overlay. There you go. And you can also make uh, the icon bigger if you want to. So that's overlay icon size. There you go. And we can change the space between the text and the icon. Awesome. So I think we went over all the settings. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. And I'm going to see you in the next video.